Welcome back everybody to the Useless Mr. Moon Show, a horror game show and today as you can see we're going to play Conrad Stevenson's Paranormal PI. We already did some ghosts, we already expelled some ghosts, we already exercised some ghosts, it's a fantastic game. The last episode that we did we had the opportunity actually to uh, release a poltergeist or have, uh, help him to evolve to get a be, be a better person or be a better entity and to go to heaven. So yeah. Uh, we can actually uh, really in this within this game release every possible ghost except the demon They're still working on it. I don't know when it will come out, but we will see ladies and gentlemen We're not gonna waste any much more and more time on this though We're gonna hop in we're going back to the church and let's see what kind of ghosts we can hunt there to find some evidence and actually Release them. Let's go and let's have some fun But before we do ladies and gentlemen leave and subscribe and like if you're new to the channel and for the ones that always come back, thank you for the support. But for now, we are going to have some fun. Let's go. Oh, yeah. I'm curious what, what ghost we will do today. Let me adjust my cord here a little bit. Thank you. That's better. All right. Last, uh, last time. What did we do last time? Uh, Evergreen Lane is already done. We did something on Polk Street, right? Yeah, we did the kit on Polk Street. Uh, we, uh, there was a intelligent ghost. He was very hard to find. That that boy there. Oh, that's creepy, bro. What the heck? Yeah, well, we found him, and there's still poltergeists in that location. We will do that some day, sometime later. Not in this episode, but somewhere this week maybe. Uh, we haven't gone to lighthouse yet. We will uh, as soon as we're done with the Spruce Street area, the church area. Because we still have a lot of ghosts to do there. And I like to do it actually a little bit in, in, a, in a chronological order. Because I don't want to spoil the whole harbor area for me. Because I like to do a couple episodes after each other on that location. That we are really into the new um, spot. The new location. Why do I want to do that? Because the developers also st uh, still bring out new ghosts to that location. So it will be fun when we, uh, when we arrive there. So on Spruce Street we have... All right, we already have everything, I guess. We will see that in the office soon. Um, we already released the lady in white. She was kind of hard to find in the crypt area. And we tried to find her some, but it took me about one and a half hours to actually get one piece of evidence. But Well, not actually. I tried to find some evidence, but the only thing happened was with one of the spirit books. It said, like, uh, Havoc, Wrath. And I was like, okay, let's script all the... Uh, uh, EFPs, all the equipment that we can actually hunt the ghost with, and nothing happened. So I went then to Mr. What was his name? The Reverend. What was his name? What was his name? What was his name? Now that's Jefferson Street. That's where the demon is. Did we bring? Yeah, well, we brought his. We brought uh, Jake, uh, Jacob Johnson. That was his name. We brought his uh, chalice. We already have his relics. So two, le uh, two uh, ghosts less there. And some of you said to me, or actually one of you said to me, there's a, there's a book here that we could open. Because I was actually a little bit confused last time when we played, uh, when we were hunting the poltergeist and actually wanted to release him, that there was a number in this book. Okay, there it is. So they, you were exp actually right. So thank you for that. Thank you for that uh, very good tip. So the Book of the Corpses, this ancient book was discovered during a uh, sewer excavation near St. Joseph Cathedral in the historical district of New Ireland. The contents of the red uh, letter bound book are handwritten in Latin and have poetic format. Experts determined that the book catalogs how to catalogs how to interact with the dead in various scenarios. For example, stanza 134 describes how to interact with a supernatural gatekeeper. O thou gates who uh, this is what the comrade said the last time. That's pretty cool. So I think we are going to need a couple of these things though for a poltergeist. I think this is maybe the one for what was it? Evergreen Lane. We may actually need to write uh, read all of this before we. Ooh! Discarded cloak. Oh. This cloak was donated by local paranormal research society. The team found the cloak snagged on a fence post within the North Cemetery adjacent to the Fellowship of the Congregational Church of New Ireland. Originally thought to be a hoax until scientific testing determined the cloth to be manufactured between 8035 and 8052. Since testing, several 
assumptions about the cloak's origin have surfaced. The popular speculation is that his belonged to John Ulrich, the shadow ghost in the cemetery and the church. Yeah, and the church, who was a grave robber in the mid 1800s. It's believed that his spirit still haunts the cemetery. Oh, it is. Oh my good lord. It's actually saying. It's actually saying. It's haunting the cemetery, not the church. But we saw him in the church anyway. And we know he's there. I actually want to go to the mausoleum today. And we're going to do that. So I'm really going to read this quickly. Uh, yeah. Ooh, do we need this? I don't think so. It's actually, uh, it's actually cool that they have that from him. Alright, I don't think we really need the other stuff. But this is actually what we, uh, we what we need to read later on. Local skulls about this has to do with dem demons and uh, why are you not opening? Thank you. And demons is still not a possibility to actually um, release or exercise because it's gonna be a whole different setup, a whole different process to um, yeah exercise the demon. So. Now we're up to date a little bit. Thank you for the big comment on, on that book though. But now we know the number anyway. Because um, I figured it out last time by just trial and error. But for now we're going to Church Spruce Street. We're going to hop in actually. We already did Mr. Seekston. Well we're not finished with him. But I'm going to leave him a little bit. Because we st I still want to. Yeah I still want to see new ghosts. We I couldn't find the boy last time as I said before. So what we're going to do today is actually resentful angel of the mausoleum. Angel in the mausoleum. Alright, so that's the only thing about him in the emails. Um, I don't know who he is. So we need to find that out now. Spruce Street. Uh, Le Febre Mausoleum. I found this in the mausoleum the last time when I was trying to find the boy. So, Le Febre Mausoleum. Le Febre. I don't know how you say that. It's probably French. Uh, I can't read it. But it has to do with Mr. Lefebvre, maybe? I don't know. Okay, Angel the Muslim. Someone didn't like his work. We're gonna take that one anyway. This is Shadow. It's probably Ulrich. Is there more to it? What is this? Pierre died abruptly. Who's Pierre? It's not Mr. Siegeston, because that's Ezra, I believe. What's this? Who is Jane? Who is K? That belongs to Ulrich. Police have evidence of a cold. That's a demon probably in the forest. Well, I still think it's going to try to summon a demon. Da -da. That's why I think it's a demon that we are going to encounter in the forest somewhere next episodes. Effected then sold tours. Uh, let's see. Pierre died abruptly. Oh. Okay, so now we go to Wiki. Because <laughs> some time ago I found out that actually you could get information or actually important notes for your investigation here as well so we're going a muslim of for the few okay so mr lefebvre so maybe you can actually get some information about pierre lefebvre okay so we already have to write note about pierre pierre died abruptly as the community of new Eidolon embraced the future moving into the uh, 20th century the wealthy citizens uh, though it best to remember it for all eternity in mr design wait we already read this right Throughout the next few years, higher security from the Muslim was employed, with which only deepened the divide about the issue. Since security agents were uh, on site day and night, protesting citizens could not vandalize as they would previously. Instead, they would leave all candles on the ledge. Uh, leave lit. Uh, they would leave lit candles on the ledge of the entombed. The cemetery allowed candles to be placed at gravesides, so it would. It was hard to manage who was doing that. What? Once the lit candle had burned itself out, a mess tried. Wax usually engulfed the personal items left on the ledge, disrespecting the entombed elite. All right, 1905 a compromised, a compromise was reached uh, within the community when the outside gardens were replaced with tombs, with anyone who had the money could be buried. The decision squ uh, squelched, sque squelched the issue. All right, squelched. Additionally, kits were created just south of the Muslim after the incident of 1901 to provide a more Lavish burial for those who could afford it. What was happening in 1901? 
There was an instance in 91 when the family had the money to bury their loved one within the Muslim, but was denied a plot. Oh. So Mr. Lefebvre unfortunately was deeply associated with class segregation and was never able to establish his reputation as desired. He tried the best to distance himself from uh, from it. It whoa whoa. He tried his best to distance himself from it in hopes to benefit his career. Ironically, after Lefebvre and his wife passed away in 1908, they were both entombed in white marbles. Sac I don't know how you say that word. Sa I, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> Actually, yeah, I just got stuck there for a little bit. You can probably read it yourself. Sarcoph sarcophagus? Sarcophagus? Is that a word? Did I say it right? At the entrance of the mausoleum. The elite of the community felt uh, that they want to honor Mr. Lefaber for creating such a marvelous final resting place regardless of the feelings on the matter. Unfortunately, Mr. and Mrs. Lefaber were in middle age and died unexpectedly in the carriage accident. Ooh, maybe foul play though. The Lefebvre had no children and no one knew any next of kin, so their wish could not be communicated. What? What was their wish then? Alright, I don't, I don't care. That they were probably placed there? The first documented case of paranormal activity in the Muslim occurred in 1911. It was not a noted that a few candles were mysteriously placed and lit on the legends of some entombed residents. The phenomenon has occurred irregularly ever since. Uh, skeptics, of course, simply believe that local kids light the candles as an ongoing prank. Intermittently. Intermittently? Inter intermittently? Throughout the years, fo folks have been seen have seen apparitions within the mausoleum as well outside with the gate with the gated area. This has further fueled the idea that the mausoleum is haunted. Alright, that's actually a pretty cool story. It's just about people getting angry that only elite people could be placed there. Then he tried to actually not just only elite people, but the people that could actually just also pay for it. Because this is expensive. Uh, it, uh, uh, anyway. Uh, um, how do you call that? Burials are it's, uh, nowadays really expensive. Well, I don't know how it was in 1901. But he actually tried to find a compromise for the community. There were, how do you call that, um, riots and some kind of stuff and, 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 and uh, all that kind of things. And, but yeah, so he they died on an unknown cause of death. But they I think they didn't get buried there, if I understood it correctly. So it doesn't really matter. We just need to, here has a reason to stay. Yeah, the reason is actually probably to... Get his body back in or actually to help the other people being buried there as well. I think these are just the four um, notes that we're going to bring. So we're going to hop in. I also always like to read that background story. It's not really important as you see. But it brings more to the game. And I like that. That's why I'm reading it. And I'm trying to understand it in the meantime. So that's why I'm sometimes actually also hopping back to a different paragraph in, within that story. Well, yeah, we now know what the mausoleum is, what it does. It's now called Pierre Lefebvre, so we know about uh, we know that about him as well. I think, I honestly think this is going to be an intelligent ghost. We already had two um, residual ghosts, so that's why I think it's definitely going to be a intelligent ghost because Mr. Seeks was an intelligent ghost. We already had the shadow figures, also an intelligent ghost, but he cannot speak. Uh, well, he can make give phenomenons, just like a sound phenomenon. Please get me out! Help me! That kind of stuff. And um, uh, intelligent ghosts can really reply to a question. So we already released two, as you said, two uh, residual ghosts. Uh, the referent and the a lady in white. It was a sad story. That's absolutely a sad story. That's what I love about this game. Every ghost has its own sad story. And they're mostly sad because that actually helps the effect of a horror game, in my opinion. I'm working towards about halfway through releasing the ghost here at the church on Spooky. Halfway? Street. No, that's not true. Because we know that there's going to be seven or eight ghosts here. Mr. Mr. Conrad, Mr. Stevenson's. We already did two. About halfway, he said. And I hope you're going to do a Pierre... I don't want to say Pierre Gasly, if... If some of you watch Formula 1, you know who I mean, but it's Pierre, Pierre Lefebvre. Uh, what we usually take? Well, this is a big area, so we're going to 
we're definitely going to take the EVP. Always. We're going to take the camera as well. Because it's we're going into the mausoleum. Um, we need the dots as well immediately within the camera. Because dots... Uh, well, it's called a dot system, I believe, right? It's not really to help help find ghosts, but it's it helps the ghost to gain more energy energy to manifest himself. So we can actually uh, grab better photos of, of all those kinds of stuff. All right, so the Muslim is not far away. I can't wait actually to do the shadow with the red eyes. Also, can't wait. To, I can't wait to do all of them because. I think John Uri is going to be a hard ghost to find. The boy, I don't know, uh, some some name Williams, Williams, his surname. He's going to be hard to find in this area. Some of you gave me tips. I need to read about that before I go in next time. Because some of you said that there were next to a, uh, a how do you call that? A statue, a specific kind of statue. So yeah, this helps me out well. There's a ghost there somewhere between the, f the forest and the crypt. There's a shadow ghost standing there with red eyes. And he's probably pretty creepy. Uh, creepy? 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 Creepy. That's what I'm going to say. All right. Why can't I get in? Thank you. Why is it so awfully quiet? I got seriously goosebumps to the max. Wow. Whoa, that is that was not good. I don't know why. Why is it so freakishly? Why is it so quiet? All right, what we're we gonna do? Then put this one here. I think I will do it like this, right? Come on, some of it. Yes. All right. So now we can grab actually the other stuff. I hope he's gonna make, immediately going to make a picture. And I hope we... I hope actually... That we're gonna... Gonna see some awesome stuff with this ghost. Because if the ghost... If if it's actually Pierre hunting there... I think it's Pierre because it's about him. And they were talking about... Uh, candles being lit up. That would be fantastic. Just as the same as within the church. That was cool as well. I hope they're gonna put a ghost in this house. I hope they're going to put different ghosts in other houses as well. But I think not. I think they are uh, the the, um, the sub suburban suburban houses that called like that. Are, uh, we are almost done with them. They're not going to add new ghosts. But I think they're going to add a new location. There's a small location. Just one house with different kind of ghosts. And probably most people like a demon anyway. And a shadow ghost. Because they are in my opinion the scariest ghost. Well Seekerson was also pretty scary though. That he appears so much. Um, oof. I should have left the EMF there. Damn it. I'm gonna grab my own. And I'm gonna come back soon for that. We now first need a picture and some EVP. I think I'm gonna stay here until we finished. That we can go back, grab his relic, and actually release him. That maybe we do another ghost because I have a little bit of m more time here today. So we can do actually a longer episode. That's actually kind of cool. This last two has been, but the last one was one about, this was, yeah, one and a half hours. And before that was just barely one hour. I freaking heard something. I think it's actually here. In my place. Oh, Mr. Pierre? Yeah. Are you there? Oh, so many people died. But it's so quiet here. Can we leave the lights on. I think that's a good idea. Or or no no, I like darkness. I like darkness. Let's close the door. We don't need to go out now. I hope he's going to show himself here. Don't get me wrong, it always takes a while for a ghost to show himself, especially when we have a little bit of more uh, evidence on him. I'm gonna just walk around. 
I think it's mostly going to be in here. But it, it said also something about... Um... The ah! What the fuck? Oh, Incredible. I captured a ghost on film. What was that? I'm glad I captured it with a recorder. He's absolutely scared the shit out of me. You should feel my heart. You should feel my heart. I, 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 my brain had to realize that there was a face thing. And as soon as I realized. Right? That was a very unusual talk. noise. I'll keep that as evidence. It's just standing. That's. Sorry, Amelia, if you're watching this. <laughs> you probably got scared because of me. As usual. <laughs> I'm not a mostly not a really quiet uh, quiet screamer. Oh my lord. That's a good start. All right. I'll keep that as audio evidence. We it's a intelligent ghost clearly because he's walking towards us. He's popping out on different spots. So that's good. The difference between a residual ghost and an intelligence ghost is mostly residual ghost is actually a memory. So it's going doing it on and on and on. So you see, if he's walking here, he keeps on doing it like this every time. An uh, intelligence ghost can just pop up behind me like he just did. Wow. He's active though. I'm not going to play on Fahrenheit. Go. It's not a cold spot. Not a cold spot. Just I don't know what he reads actually. He sometimes it feels like it's just in the middle of fucking nowhere that he reads it. What? what why? Nothing paranormal about these temperature readings. All right, where are you? You just had a burst of energy, probably. That's a cold spot. Where did you go? Where did you go? Give me your cold spot back, bro. Well, I always, uh, in the beginning of the game. Oh, still the same. In the beginning of the game, I. Uh, that as evidence. I always thought, okay, eventually you don't need to do uh, find evidence with an EMF or with a, a thermal meter because um, it only gives... It's actually, you're doing it for to get some money in the game and as soon as you have a lot of money, you don't need it anymore. But I actually found out a couple episodes ago, as I just said before, that you need to find evidence within an investigation to activate the ghost. So the more you get, the more he becomes uh, interactive with you. That's the camera. What is it? Is it a generator? I guess it's a generator. While this is a high EMF See? level, it seems to Where be normal. It? Although they may want to call an electrician to ensure everything yeah, is wired correctly. Corner. We have a picture of him. Let's actually check the... Oh, shall we? We're gonna do it later. I wanna see what the, the camera took. The automatic camera, how how these pictures look like. Need pictures, pictures, Mr. Moon, pictures. He's mostly on the left side for now, right? Or the pen, sorry. I want to see you more, and I don't want to have something in my hand so I can make a thumbnail out of you. Wow, Good that's cool. great audio evidence. How are we doing? We, that's definitely paranormal activity. Audio evidence, also paranormal activity. We only need EMF still. But it's not popping up. Definitely here, right? Dude, I can hear you walk. What? Why is EMF not doing anything? Are you still working? There he is. 
It is still working. I think that's actually also a part of the uh, the um, how do you call this thing? The dot thingy. That he can manifest himself more because he can grab energy out of it. And that's why you always need to bring it. I think that's the only purpose for that thing right about now in the game. Uh, so you can... It's actually the same thing as in Phasmophobia. And Phasmophobia is also being used to see what kind of entity it is. Or if it's a specific ghost. Because some of the ghosts can show himself within the dots area. But here it's not... Over here it's not within the dots area. It's really within the... Area just That's a different one. You have it still? There, there we Ooh, go. That is eerie audio evidence. Yes, that's very eerie audio evidence. I actually want to walk without uh, walk around with the parabolic microphone. I really like that object, that that item. It's a really cool item because everything gets so quiet. so hard to find him. Ugh, oh, the battery died. The battery died. Okay, that happens when you get too close to him. What we're gonna do... Uh, we're going to place this here. And the camera as well, because we don't need it anymore. We already have it. I just wanna see him one more time for my thumbnail. Because he's bloody fantastic. Depends actually, if we're going to be, um, we have a tr problem, if we're going to be done with him very quickly. Um, we might have to find actually new ghost today. <laughs> and we have to put him on the thumbnail as well, right? Oh, we can make a good thumbnail out of it anyway. For now, we're still busy with Pia. Pia! Yeah, we don't need that one. I don't really like it. It's not useful at all, the EMF pod, because it's only for a close uh, area. So it, if the ghost really has to stand on top of it to for that thing to um, pop on or yeah to make a noise. But it is actually as soon as you use it, it's a creepy thing because if you can, you know if a residual ghost walks through a doorway, you can put it in the doorway and then you know where it's walking as soon as like that thing is going. Beep, 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 beep. It is actually creepy if the whole area is just so quiet and I don't know where that happens. Oh my lord, you don't... Oh. I forgot to put the, grab the batteries. That's that, that was the whole purpose of us going to the truck. Oh no. What I'm actually happy about in this game is that the ghosts stay within the locations. It's not that you... And you can find a ghost at the cemetery, but uh, or a demon in the in the forest, but the demon can also hunt you in the church. You know, I'm happy about that. Looks like the batteries are dead. Yeah, that's why I'm here, comrade. Can you grab a battery, please? Thank you. There it is. So we need don't. What we need to do is stay away from the ghost. Well, not, actually not too close. Because as soon as you get too close, he drains the energy out of your thingies. Your thingies! Okay. Okay, I really need to pay attention to the fact that I want to make a thumbnail out of him. So, <laughs> I want to see him properly. I hope he's going to do some crazy stuff still. Instead of just... Hey, I'm here! <laughs> Alright. No, I wanna grab that one again. I wanna put this one. I wanna put that one here. There you are. Up now. Thank you. <laughs> oh! He turned on candles. Well, there weren't candles here before. He even brought the candles. How nice. I'm gonna leave them on. It makes actually a good atmosphere. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Pierre. Or Mr. Lefebvre. But now we still need more evidence. I think it's going to... 
Never mind. These lights are acting funny. I should continue investigating. The EMF meter should not behave this way. This is paranormal. Why is that thing still going? Wait, that's actually... Are you the relic? Wow, it's, 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 it, or it's bucked out, or either it's bucked out, or it's, this is the relic, because some of you also said you can find the relic with the EMF reader, that's actually pretty cool. I still find them scary, <laughs> so don't get me wrong. Uh, yeah, we need this one right now. Can we do it here as well then? I think... I think or that he turned on the... That's also a possibility. He can also... Uh, the EMF can also go on because he turned on the candles and the game registers this as a activity. And the activity is being on the whole time. But we will see. Maybe that's actually the relic that we need to find later, so... Oh, this is not the cold spot. Oh. Looks like just a cold spot. Nothing, Nothing paranormal. paranormal. Cold spot now. She's so curious. Uh I'm always pressing V, I don't know why. Wow, I, I took a photo of a ghost. It's behind you, camera. It's us. No, he took way more pictures though, right? He's just taking pictures of us. He sees us as the ghost. <laughs> there he is. Oh, that's creepy, man. Oh, that makes a good thumbnail as well. Oh, I love this one. Ooh. Which one? This one. Da. Nice. And another one. <laughs> he took so many pictures. All right. That's actually cool. But we don't need it anymore. Can we... Uh, thank you. Just have to press that. So we have to put this there. Da -da. So we don't need it. Shall we turn it on because maybe it also can drain energy from that though. Oh, we are focusing on cold spots. Spots. Spot. Here we go. These temp readings are unusual. Here we go. He's probably walking slowly forward, so we're gonna follow him. We're gonna follow him. And Something we're done. Something is going on here. These temperature readings are definitely Ta -da. paranormal. So the only thing we need to do is wait for him to. Uh, give him some more sounds, and actually we're gonna ask him some questions soon. Mr. Siegerstein... Oh no, that's someone else. This is Pierre Lefabre. Hello. I think these were his, uh, his wife's and his tomb. Or his sarcophagus. I don't know how you could say that. But I think they were not buried in there. That's why he stayed. I think that's that's the story. But I'm not entirely sure. I know I just read it. But I was hopping down and checking different paragraphs in the meantime as well. Is that a different that? one? I'm glad I captured it with a recorder. That was just recording time. Let's see. Let's ask him some questions. Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Nobody. Is there anything you'd like to tell me? Do you know why I'm here? Brother 
suit. Incredible. I, I really think this ghost is trying to tell me something. Is there anything you'd like to tell me? Well, sister, wanna know why I'm here for the suit. Is there anything you'd like to tell me? Wow, yeah, that's bloody fantastic. That like a response. That is very interesting. Very interesting. You know why I'm here? Why is it not interesting? Why is it interesting? Do you know why I'm here? Do you know why I'm here? He's going to reply. Do you know why I'm here? Alright, so we're gonna grab the other one again. Because I think that's a really good combo. Do you know why I'm here? But this this actually gives us the here? questions that he replies to. Or at least the possibility that, that he can reply to. But Is I think this your home? a ghost can reply to every question. Do you like Nothing. the current family living here? Why are you here? That's a good question. Why are you here? Nothing. Can you tell me your name. Okay, so nothing. But I think these two questions are going to give us an answer. Well, I know I hate the sound as well, but I'm stand here. Why are you here? Can you ah, tell come me your on, Mister, Mister Lefavre. It was a sign. Oh, please. Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Why am I still here? Oh, come on. You'd like to tell me? Is it this hard to talk to us? Like the little boy we had last time? Do you know why I'm here? He's not replying now. Do you know why I'm here? That's a little bit of a problem. Where can he be then? What? Let's just turn it off. Oof. Give us a sign. right now do you like it when I turn the lights on oh that is eerie audio that evidence. new one though no what about this light do you like that one as well no all right turn it off then I think we need to keep him asking questions though. Wait. No, that's not a new one. What was right. that? I'm glad I captured it with a recorder. Uh, we, we did actually everything. So the only thing we have to do is still grabbing enough sound evidence, noise evidence, it's EVPs. Love, hope, faith, love. Thank you for whispering in my ear. That is a very unusual noise. I'll keep that as evidence. Can you tell me your name? Come on, you can. Can you tell me your name? It's gonna be a long shit again with this. No doubt. Think maybe maybe he's actually among his tomb somewhere, so we're gonna look at here. How many people are here other, other than, than me? me? How 
How many people are find, here? Use the other box. Other than me. And this better. So we know where, what question he can reply. Because until now, it's just one to speak. No, that's a horrible sound, but. Do you know why I'm here? Do you know why I'm here? Do you know why I'm here? Come on. You know. Brother Sue? Wow, I, I really suit. think someone is trying to communicate with me. Close it, please. Thank you. Uh, E. Do you know why I'm here? So we're going to ask this question 25, 1699 million times. <laughs> Until he replies. Do you know why I'm here? Who is suit? Wow, that sounded like a response. Holy oh, shit, he gives different responses to the questions. Because he said in the other one, uh, for the suit? And now, how oh, I know. And what's why your, are why, you here? Yeah, why are you here? around a little bit maybe that actually helps why are you here nothing why are you here it has to be because it's this is a question that he can answer to why promise you, you. come on why are you here where are you my friend Why are you here? Hmm. Can you That's tell your me name. your name? Can you tell me your name? Do you like the current family living here? Do you like the current family living here? There's nobody living here. It's a stupid question. Everybody's dead. Is this your home? Oh, why would you ask that question? <laughs> oh, no. Is this your home? So we're going to go back to this one. Does that really help? How many people are here other than me? How many people are here other than, other than me? me? Come on. Why are you here? Do you like the current family living here? You can give a name, right? Your what? Name? Alright. It's so hard to get an EVP. That's why it always takes so long. I hope he turns on the, the, the candles. The invincible candles here as well. Come on, Conrad. I mean, uh, yeah, yeah. Please, please give me a sign, Pia. Yep, yeah, yep, 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 Ooh, that is eerie audio evidence. We're not going back to the truck for that thing. It's still working though. Time to replace the batteries. 
Uh, time to fuck off. All right. He, he said something here. So, why are you here? Wow, I, I really. I think knew that's where she. Yes, yes, shut up. Why are you here? My tomb is what he said. Oh, damn it, I'm using really different from the guys! He's trying to tell me something. No, stop it. I want to have this one. Why are you here? Please, please give the answer. Why are you here? Oh, Mr. Moons, how could I fuck that Why one? Why are up? you here? Why are you here? He's also not showing himself that much more. Why are you here? I'm going to ask this question, Lation. I'm sorry, because he at least gets an answer in the other box to this question. Why are you here? Or he can do it now as well. Why are you here? Why are you here? Nothing. Why? Why nothing? Right, we're gonna try something. Because I just... Oh, wrong button. I just, as I said, realize he's not showing himself that much more. I'm gonna grab this. We're gonna... Turn on the camera again. We hope that he's using the camera to manifest himself. Alright. That's the question on his tomb. See? Boom boom. He was immediately stepping somewhere. Why are you here? Why are you here? Not at all. Come Can on, you tell man. Me your name? It isn't that hard to speak. Can you tell me your name? Why are you here? Just keep on trying, trying, trying. Why are you here? Boy, you can do this. Is this your home? Is this your home? Right, I'm going to try something else. I'm going to grab the other spirit box as well. Because that's a different spirit box and he can use words to communicate with, with us. You can pick it out of a dictionary that's within the box. But what I'm going to try is as soon as it gives a word, I'm grabbing this one and ask a question. Because that maybe he is close by to us. No? Should have immediately, the last time he gave an answer, grabbed the other EVP, just the normal recorder, and asked the same question, but... He fucked up. Well, I did, actually. He didn't. He didn't fuck up at all. Very sweet. Here. With me. Why in this game? By the way, I bought Unholy today. I think I'm going to play it tomorrow. Or, I play it for tomorrow. One sitting, one go. Full game. I'll wait for that. All right, let's let's hope this works. I hate this device. It's such so creepy. As soon as you just walk around out of nowhere, it can just be like, "Hello." It also made such a robot-y voice. Oh. 
Hello. That was so weird. So oh, she's. Ooh, oh, I hate that one. Oh shit! Summon. Fuck off! I don't want to do this. Why are you here? Why are you here? You just want to mean I don't know where this word summon. Why are you here? Please work. Wow, that sounded like a response. Damn it, that worked. Really Maybe nice. that works really. All right. Let's be creative. Let's try it m one more round. If it pops, we grab the other one. Don't get scared, Mr. Uh, this thing scares me the whole time. Trying to get as much area as possible. Go back. Maybe he's following me instead of walking in front of me. Ooh, alright. Can you tell me your name? Come on. Can you tell me your name? Come on. Do you like the current family living here? No. Do you like the current family living here? Maybe How we need to write are here S the right other question. Than me. How many I think he's are gone. Here I think he's gone. Other than me. Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Is there anyone here Come on. who would like to speak with me? Fingers crossed. No. All right, gonna try it again. Oh, I think it happened because we had a word, and then we heard like, you know, I think that was his interaction, so he couldn't talk. Where you at, brother? Where you at, brother? You've been walking around for here for more than 100 years, man. Isn't it time to relax a little? Go on, box. Give it to us. But also I think that this parafox doesn't really work, though. Yes. Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? That was weird. It doesn't work. Yes. Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Oui. Wow, it, that sounded it, like it a works. I think this theory very works. Interesting. I really do think it works. Let's ask Can one more time for a name. name. Maybe he replies as well. Oh, this has got a good combo. Very good combination. Can you tell me your name? Why did he say we? Oui, by the way. Ooh, we're gonna walk around again and I ask a, a question is there anyone here other than me maybe he replies to me and my wife I really hate this <laughs> stop that <laughs> how many people are here <laughs> other than me I hate that I really hate that that's so creepy come on work work please work how many people are here other than me. Shite. Can you tell me your name? It did not work. Work, 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 you do work, work. Can you tell me your name? All right. Um, we want to speak why I'm here. He answered these questions. This can these two questions he can reply to, pretty sure. 
Oh, I don't want that one. I find this one way creepier. Crush it, he's here. He's here, he's here. Can you tell me your name? It's something with the candles, though. Can you tell me your name? Boom, we're done. Wow, that sounded like a response. That's, That's it's a hat, generous. his relic. We're going home. We're going to the office right now. And we're going to listen what he said to us. Because that's actually pretty nice. Because there were a lot of things indecipherable. He, there were a lot of other um, things uh, that he said on the other spirit box. But the EFPs are, are the only one that actually get recorded. But wow, ladies and gentlemen, that's a good combo. That's a very good combo. I'm happy that I find that out with the spare uh, paravox but that means that the ghost is in the area so you can immediately ask him a question and uh, four out of five times now or three out of five times we had actually an answer so and the other one was an actual voice and i'm like yeah. so actually four out of five happened there all right we have to come back later anyway for the relic and i think after this we will do the poltergeist at um Polk Street in the garage. I want to do that. I think that's fun. And then let's see where we are. That was actually a great experience with the... Uh, we immediately did everything in one go. So I'm happy about that. Um, let's, let's listen. This will be creepy, I guess. Very, It's very good that the... Developer of this game, the developers of this game made this whole computer and this whole interaction with the notes, the audio, archives. It's it was such a good idea. Okay, we were on Spruce Street. The Lost Revenant we already did. The Woman in White we already did. The Angel of the Mausoleum. Let's see, track one. Me me boopsy. What is he saying? Some, some, some weird word. Bibupshi. That's what I hear. Oh, it's French. <laughs> I cannot speak French though, but it sounds French. That's actually creepy. Yeah, he's definitely speaking French. Ah, he didn't say we, oui, he said the we oui from yes in French. Is there anyone here who would like to speak to me? We, oui, it's me, right? We oui, from yes. That's pretty cool. Is there anything you would like to tell me? Did he just say sure with the French accent? Or is he my, is saying my name, my full name, my real full name? That's creepy though. Joshua. <laughs> That's creepy, man. <laughs> How, I know. How I know is what he said. Yeah, his English is probably not, not that good. So he's saying, How I know. From how do, the heck do I know why you're here? So, see, the track is now again. Jumping from 6 to 10. I think he can also reply to the other questions. But in my opinion, as I said the last time, I don't really care that much about it. Because we already had great interaction with him. He actually turned on the ca uh, the candles. But for the next show, what we're going to do. Um, to actually experience all that stuff actually happening and not when we are gone. Is what we're going to do is grab all the stuff, bring it into the location. Every stuff that we, that we have and then actually stay there and do the... Um, investigation that we only have to go back to the truck to actually get grab the batteries what do you think of that hunt, hunt why are you here to hunt hunt, hunt. <laughs> yes that's not good to hear from a ghost though hunt. all right can you tell me oh can you tell me your name yeah yeah that's cool Okay, let's miss the 16, so that's actually it. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to this one. 
Uh, Church Bruce Street. We're gonna take this one. I think we at least need to take two evidences to actually release him so that he, that we know that he's there. Pierre died abruptly, so that's good enough for us right now. Low shoulder. We're doing actually pretty great right now. And we're doing this one as well. Location. Uh, mausoleum. So we have three of them with us. And now what we're gonna do is hop in. His relic is a, a kind of a, yeah, probably his head that we was wearing. See this one. So we're gonna grab it and actually... Ooh. I, f I might still know which one it is actually. Uh, the smart stick that we need to use for an intelligent ghost. Oh, this was so, such a good experience, such a good ride, such a smooth way of finding Working a ghost. Forwards, about halfway through releasing the ghost here at the church on Spruce Street. Thank you, comrade. Thank you. Love you for it. Always grab a camera. People that want to play themselves. This one, and we are done. Let's find the relic. Oh, wait. Somebody said that we can actually find the relic with DMF, so we're going to do that. I'm going to be I'm, I'm going to be so pr uh, surprised if no not surprised but yeah actually also surprised as um, if we are going to fight the head on the side of the thumbs, uh, tombs where we had the EMF constantly on five. Let me actually come back in one sec because my headset is empty. I'll see you in a bit. All right, there we go, Mister Pia Pia. Where are you? Let's actually check outside. Oh wait, the first thing that we wanted to do is actually check the spot where the the, the uh, where the EMF was so high. Oh Jesus, Mister! Is he meant to tell that Boutoshour? I think he was just standing there. Where is his relic? Somewhere in the corner. Okay, we can actually turn the lights on so we can see better. I don't see a. There it is. Found it. Found it. These lights are acting funny. I should continue investigating. The EMF meter should not behave this, this way. This is what happened this before. But then here. So, the funny thing is, a relic can have two spots to spawn. What if we just had already found the spot before, and that it was actually invisible in within the wall, but we could detect it? Because mostly a ghost is moving away, so we, we couldn't have... It wasn't possible if it was a ghost to actually stand there the whole time and then just get EMF readings. Right? We did as well, so we get more money. What we can do right now is put it there somewhere. Fuck off, you just disappeared, I know. I grab this one, turn this on, and find his spot. Probably gonna be here. Oh, the last time. It was actually... Oh, it is here. This is... Oh, I just wanted to say that this tomb is open, but okay. Did this tomb? It's, it's here. Alright. What are we gonna do? Put it on the ground. And follow him. Where are you going? Alright, we're talking to Pia. Yeah, Le Fabre. I'd like to acknowledge Pierre Lefebvre's presence. Let's follow the ghost. Lights on in the meantime. Oh. Will we? Yeah, we will. Uh, what is the spirit's attachment? A top hat. Your hat is very nice. It's too bad I found it here. I know you don't like being entombed here either. I think your mausoleum is beautiful. It's not your fault what the city folks did with it. No, it's not. Everyone understands your story now. You are trying to help the community. Yeah, we are. Or he was. 
Me too. Well, that's the uh, intelligent ghost, ladies and gentlemen. What is this grief, though? Here's just the question. Oh, that I always hate. What was the spirit's grief upon death? Betrayal. Well, it it, it has to it had to do with um, he died and he couldn't it he couldn't be put there because it was not communicated. Embarrassment, betrayal, valued inadequacy. I'm going with betrayal. God damn, it's probably gonna be wrong. Our city admires your. We are right, and, and we all appreciate the passion you have nice. for your work. This building doesn't represent the social divide that it did. You can rest peacefully beside Lucille knowing that. Oh, his wife's called Lucille. How do you know, comrade? Thank you. Why am I always pressing V? See again. Fuck off. I should Thank you. Sure this relic is on me when I leave. Bye bye. Have a good rest. Thank you for your time. There we go. See? A spirit on an inside location is actually kind of easier to find. I think the, the ghosts that we have to do from now on are going to be very hard ghosts to find. Very hard thing to do. Because they're all open. They're all in the open areas. But uh, we will see. I think we're going back to Polk Street now. I would, uh, I would be happy to do that actually. Let's see. See, we have the head, so yeah, let's go. Polk Street, it is. Polk Street, it is. Polk Street, Polk Street, Polk Street, it is. We didn't take pictures, actually, stupid for me. I was telling you people that you should be in camera. Well, at least we got a lot of uh, pa -pa -pa points. Pa -pa -pa points. Oh, I'm hitting my microphone hard again. I'm sorry. Experience point earned, 83. We already have 2,000 in total. But we don't need the money anymore. We still have it. We wonder how much we have on our account right now. So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, that is our... Angel of the Muslim. Where is his head? Oh, We see him properly. He's standing there. We had some great pictures of him. The church on Spruce Street. Lady in white. Shadow figure. So okay. The thing the, the with the cloak, it said he's haunting the cemetery, but the picture is actually that he is in the church. So that's that's now we definitely know that they're both in those two locations. Or the, the ghost is in those two locations. But we will do that another time. For now, we go back to the office. No admittance, Steph only. Is we are going to Grab information about our Polk Street guy, the poltergeist in the garage. Personally, I don't believe this being caused by spirits when something falls off the shelf and suddenly changes temperature. That's the two things we're going to take with us. Polk Street. All right, Polk Street. Last time I also figured out um, that we don't know much about... The poltergeist that what ghost it is. I don't know. Just David Allen was the kid. Who was this? David is where a card was found. It's also David. This was about David's mother that was crazy. The Bora Allen, see? That's that's this also about the Bora Allen. Who's this? Deb joint okay, that's the Bora Allen. Change create gateways. Uh, right. I I I. I think this actually. What is this then? Divorce agreement is also for De Deborah because Devor uh, Deborah uh, divorced from her husband, and then everything went kind of wrong. And this is uh, Wagner's. Both of these are from the old man that was walking around this location that we did like four or five episodes ago. And we did him, we did him as well. We released him as well. We released three of the four ghosts. We, I think these are just the two notes that we need. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna risk on it. I don't think we need more. All right, let's go. 
Bye bye Poltergeist, we are coming for you. Poltergeist, you are going to be pulled around. See? Yeah, I did everything. That was such a cool ghost, it's the last episode. He was hard to find and hard to get. Um, Before long here, the Lorenz won't have any ghost concerns to debate about. I think I've got about half of their ghost issues resolved. More than half. Big water, mate. Big water. Okie dokie. I put the garage not that big. It's really just in front of the garage. Or in front of the truck. What we're gonna do? Just grab everything as I said before. We're gonna drop it there. And wait. Come back. Whoa! Did you see that? <laughs> I get stuck in the gar in the in the in the truck. It was a good position for the camera. Think around about here, but I, I shouldn't lock myself. Wait, wait, that's actually a good idea. Uh, no, pick it up. I'm so stupid sometimes. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Close the door. Go around. He can get stuck actually be, uh, behind the camera. It already happened two times with me. Alright, I think this is a great position. Ta da! And grab the other stuff. Uh, no, we don't actually. No, no. We're gonna keep it like this. For now. Oh, no, we don't. I won't miss the mood. I, might, I need the camera. And this one as well. <laughs> Alright. And we're gonna close the... Why do I get goosebumps again? Okay, Poltergeist, we are here for you. What's up? What's your name? There's no name. Again, no name. Well, the last time we had a name, the sheets, but it's this is not it. Probably gonna be exactly the same. Um, release me, there's the other pull because but I wanted to do it, so that we actually did the location. That we already finished two location. That's actually kinda awesome. How is that possible? Has to be us, okay, that's us. Has to be us. Because all the other ghosts are gone. Ghosty ghost. Yeah, we can't ask questions here, so we don't need the combination that we had before. That's just for intelligent ghosts and uh, demons, probably. But we now just need to wait at him becoming pissed out at us that we're walking in his area, turning on lights, dropping temperatures, what we had as well. But poltergeist can be hard to find. It's what I realized over the career of a paranormal PI. Okay. Hello. Can he be outside maybe? That's creepy. What now? We really just have to wait. And I'm pretty sure that we have the right uh, note with us. Because all the other notes we already used in the other ghosts. Ghost. But I can remember. Right. 
What might his, uh, his relic be? It's just a refrigerator. You like something will happen with this stuff here. Gotta stand like this here. Yeah. Oh, I, I hate this house. I don't know why I hate these houses. The, the developers really make great houses. I don't hope ever to walk in such in a similar house as this. You know that you walk like that's a common paranormal PI. Nope, I'm out. I'm not gonna sleep here. Okay. Just need to wait. Just need to wait. Eh, eh, eh. Oh, fucking hell! That was a very unusual noise. I'll keep that as evidence. Let's get to the fuck. Mm -hmm. Oops. I'm gonna place you right about here because something happened there. Wow. Can you do it again, sir? Sir, can you do it again, please? Yeah, he really scared me. Felt like a whole chill over my spine. What did he drop, actually? That's only hard to find with Poltergeist because he cleans it up so quickly. You were standing here until it happened, so we're gonna stand here. Make pictures of me. Photo time. Mm, 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 mm. Mike, what the fuck? That's fucking creepy, man. Wow, that's great audio evidence. Honestly, that, that's creepy. Just uh, the guy from the mausoleum. Honestly. Oh, my eye is even twitching from excitement. What the fuck? <laughs> this? This fell. I saw it falling. Let's actually grab the camera. I really saw it falling. This photo with the recorder evidence supports a poltergeist being present. Oh yeah, we are not making pictures of a ghost, you're making pictures of events happening. So we need to place the camera back again. Alright. But how? You already have that event now. Can it still something happen in here? Oh, you know what would be cool and really scary in my opinion if the car alarm goes off. I will be out, pretty sure. Nothing. As soon as we were standing here again, it happened. Let's check EMF. Let's check the EMF. Please don't go off alarm. Please don't. We're just gonna stand here. We know now something can happen here. And by, with an EM, uh, with the poltergeist, only EMF goes off just before a event is about to happen.
if there's now gonna be a like a um base somewhere like peeking around the corner i can assure you for you it feels like the whole video is just going to be popped off <laughs> i will switch off my pc in like two seconds if that shit happens when my brother was younger he once played um a very old, well, when he was younger, eh, that's what I said. A very old Blair Witch game. I believe it was Blair Witch. This photo with recorder evidence supports a poltergeist being present. Oh my god! It actually went off. He's keeping making pictures. Well, what the fuck? How can I switch it off? This is <laughs> so creepy. You don't need the camera anymore. But as I, oh my lord, this this was creepy. As I was saying. This photo with the recorder evidence supports a poltergeist being present. Yeah, I know. Now we need to see other reactions. So many pictures you made. Alright. But, uh... What the fuck? Oh, oh. I'll keep that as audio evidence. I hate poltergeists. Honestly. So done. I'm so done. But as I wanted to say, he played... Um, I think one of the old Blair Witch games. And then there was one jump scare. Like, we have all the time with, uh, with the games. Uh, like this, for instance. Or, like, ah, a face popping up. My father was sitting next to him. And he, he explained to me that he turned... He had never seen someone turn off a PC dead quickly it was instantly switched off and he said i'm never going to play or watch horror movies ever again and he didn't do until the day now he said well how can you actually play these games i said it's fun it's fun to get scared although right now i i kind of hate this i'm gonna leave it open bloody awful man what did he actually throw? Oh, he, he threw this off the refrigerator. Wow, what an interaction. But this is what I mean. You don't get a visual from the ghost. You, you, there's there's basically nothing happening with EMF. Basically nothing happening with the, uh, the temperature. You really have to be on point and then shit explodes with a, with a poltergeist. Where? What happened? Wow, that's great. Was it this? Evidence. One more, and we can actually also get release of a poltergeist. I mean, maybe, maybe, maybe we can actually then do one more ghost, or at least start to start the beginning for ghost. Could do Mr. Seekerstein. He's almost done though. Right? That would be fantastic. We can also leave Seekerstein and actually try to find John Ulrich in the cemetery. One more. One more, my friend. And then I will leave you. Just have to wait until he makes a sound. That's actually pretty easy with the poltergeist, though. In comparison with an intelligent ghost. They are really hard to find. This is nuts. This is actually really chaotic nuts. We're just playing for one and a half hours, holy crap. Time flies, but we actually are successful today. Hello? Can you do something? Not the same, but can you do something new for me?
car alarm really freaked me out. <laughs> In the middle of my story. You fool. Well, it's actually a true poltergeist though. They just need to wait. Why am I walking around? Just wait. What can he do more? He threw something here. He played with the, I think, I think with the barbecue. He threw that off the roof. What did he do more? Maybe he played something with the, 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 the yeah, these things. Okay, are you gonna you're gonna be like this, huh? Do you need my camera again to manifest yourself? That actually might be a possibility. You're finding so much stuff today. Let's just put it like this again. Oh no, I can't go that way. Let's just wait. Let's go. Oh my fucking god, what happened? We are done, we did it. Uh, that, that gave him goosebumps. Alright, I'm out. I, I really like the poltergeist, but I also hate them in the meantime. So, let's go home. It's a wrench that we have to pick up. There we go. We didn't even need the EMF and the, the thermal readings. I like that. But yeah, we took the, the things that give us the most XP anyway. By the way, we also earned uh, the, then the new achievement because we have over 500 XP on Polk Street. So on every location you need to have more than 500 XP to get a special achievement for it. So, not gonna waste that much time. We're gonna... Ba -ba -ba -boom. Email uh, Polk Street e -da -da. Done Done Poltergeist Poltergeist was the last thing So I think it's going to be I don't know The yellow one Is it? I think it's going to be the yellow one Because I will tell you why Smudges It's Mockworth uh -huh. Jupiter has a shadow ghost Time is used to release intelligent ghosts and rosemary is used to release poltergeist. Okay. Oh, I might, I, I know this location out of my head so now I know what the ghost is going to ask us and what the location are. But I think they created it on purpose that it, the first it was a residual ghost so this is for residual, then it was shadow ghost, then it was intelligent and then poltergeist. And it's the same within the truck. Oh, there you go. Cause the relic is a wrench, as I said before. Let's find the wrench first. So get, grab an EMF. Before long here, the Lorenz won't have any ghost concerns to debate about. I think I've got about half of their ghost issues resolved. We just earned the um, the achievement that I was talking about, the 500 uh, XP. All right, so we always bring in evidence uh, EMF, so now we can um, find the stuff with the EMF reading. And we need this one. Releasing the ghost. And the picture is for at the end that we can make. Maybe make a picture of him. I don't know if that works with the poltergeist. Hey, please not throw immediately stuff. Alright. Where? Oh, there it is. Just grab the XP. These lights are acting funny. I oh, yeah, are they? Why are they? Why is it going so slow, the progress bar? The EMF meter should not be nice. this way. This is paranormal. 
This is definitely paranormal. All right, let's turn it on. Let's open this because we're definitely going there. I don't know where the portal's popping up. That's so cool that this is actually a portal. Yeah, let's put this one then back here. From the book of the corpse, what stanza is used to close the portals? 134. Oh, thou gates, who preservereth the conversion of realms for thy lords. I knoweth yes. thy name. Give me leave to commune thy gates. Oh, it's coming now. It actually scared me. It actually scared me. No, I just need to find where the poltergeist is drawing energy from. Somewhere from there. Oh, ooh. I think this is going to be the old guy. What was his name? Wagner? Why can't we talk to it? We need to... No. Oh, wait. We need to turn it on. Who's Angie has the podcast stolen from this location? Ooh. This this has to be Deborah Allen. Thy unknown, yeah. whose allowance is impermissible on this plane, must removeth thy grip. Thee hast stolen from Deborah Allen. It is yours no more. It is yours no more. Okay. Then this is going to be uh, Harold Wagner. Thy unknown, whose allowance is impermissible on this plane, must removeth thy grip thee hast stolen from Harold Wagner. It is yours I no more. I love this game. I hope the, the developer is going to develop this for one more year, or at least two more years. Then we need to go back to the portal, right? O thou yes. gates, who preservereth Done. the conversion of realms for thy lords, I knoweth thy name. Give me leave to suppress thy gates. Alright. This whole process creeps me out. Well, I guess all that matters is it's gone. Yeah, the poltergeist creeped sure me I as put well. This relic somewhere safe. He's a little bit like the Warrens from the movie Conjuring and all the things that happen in real life. They have their own little museum. Now Conrad has as well. And it will soon be hunted. Everything will be released by a Terrifying, terrifying go uh, demon. Okay. Well, actually, I can still play for a little bit, though. Shall we do one more or just end the video here? Yeah, it's a good question. I think I'm going for John Ulrich today. At least try to find him there. It's going to be hard. But we at least already had two amazing ghosts in the beginning of the video. Well, beginning. <laughs> we were doing this for one and a half hours. Let's hope that uh, John Oog is not that hard to find, but <laughs> we already tried before. So, ladies and gentlemen, Polk Street is officially done. We did everything. How cool is that? Mysterious these boxes fell during the investigation, hunting a poltergeist. A translucent apparition seen adjacent to the lamp. This is cool. Oh, the alleged grieving shadow skeptics will always doubt. That's so weird though, because the locations that the poltergeist now gave us are different than the locations in the... Uh, uh, uh. Um, on these pictures, that's what I want to say. So Evergreen Lane, ladies and gentlemen, and Polk Street is officially done. What's up next? Alright, we go back to Spruce Street, I guess. Alright, so if you go to the email, Spruce Street, then we have a pair of red eyes glaring from the shadow. So that's not the guy, that's not the shadow from John Ulrich. Because that's the guy between the, um, what was it? The forest and the, the crypt. Because I, we, 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 we learned that about the part in the wiki about the crypt. That there's also a shadow with red eyes. We also have a shadow figure uh, within the church and the cemetery. So that's what we're going to focus on. Because I want to... We already tried once Ju John Ulrich and now I really want to. Probably going to be a bit of a too long episode, but who the F cares? Can we still actually record? Let me check one, t one second. Oh no, that's that's Steam. No, no, that's not good. How much, how much space do I still have? Ah, I think it's enough. Alright, let's turn that one off as well. I think everything is back. Let's hope so. No yellow. Yeah, it's back. <laughs> Alright. 
Um, archives. Spruce Street. John Uri. Where are you? John Uri. Shadow is probably Uri. Who is J and who is K? So it's... I don't know who K is, but that's a guy that actually helped him, I believe. We, we could read something about this, right? Yeah, somewhere in this... He was paid to grab these bodies. And then he got... He, he, he They wanted to shoot him. Um, because he tried to make actually some money for his family. But they tried to shoot him. But in actually not shooting him, they shot his son. So his son died as well. And I always thought that the son or the kid that's walking on this property somewhere is his son. But it's actually the son from the lady in white. Because he also got murdered by his father. And that's weird. So we don't know who K is. That we don't really care. We don't need Pierre Singy anymore. Uh... What do we need more? This Alice, this was the girl, the woman in white. There's, no, that's not it. Paid for what service? John. Saying John. Oh, oh, oh no, this is definitely from John Ulrich. Because in the part here, uh, they he the guy, so Mr. K, offered him a a um how do you call it a payment slip that he couldn't refuse so we definitely need that one and i think we can't have anything else about him because all the other things are uh, connect to other ghosts so we go to location Spruce street then we see there are things of the crypt we almost have any everything then we have the groundskeeper and the ledge of the woods we're gonna read that soon anyway. What is this then? Investigate the church. We're gonna take that one as well because he is in the church. Um, we already read this one about with the uh, investigation of uh, the reference in the church. So now we're gonna read the North Cemetery because we're gonna bring, bring this one as well. North Cemetery. Although the town of New Adelon was found in the mid 17th, uh, 17th century, the oldest establishment in the historical district were built in the following century. All of the original sediments were destroyed during the native rage of the late 17th century, forcing the town folks to migrate across the river and north to higher ground. This secured a more defensible position against native attacks. Consequently, as the death toll, toll rose, bodies were buried under what is now a cemetery on Spruce Street. The land where the cemetery resides is perhaps the oldest construction within the town. The graves close, closer to the front gate have long eroded away their epitaphs. What is that? And are the oldest. Ooh, sorry. I uh, swallowed wrong. The grave close to the front gate have... Yeah. Then at the dawn of the 18th century. This time was challenging for the town's residents and no doubt there are unsettled souls still lingering about. I almost coughed there really hard. I'm sorry. Um, okay, I think that's about it. Let's hop in. And in the meantime, uh, I need to... Ooh, ooh, that's Polk Street. I need to do a pee-pee break. So I will be back in a sec. All right, there we go. So, the church right about there. That's where we're going first. Uh, because we saw already some upstairs walking. Oh, and also downstairs we saw them walking. So we're going to grab the automatic camera. The dots. Uh, our EVP in the meantime. And we don't need anything else. And we come back in a second anyway. As usual. I hope he's going to manifest quicker than last time. Because oh, it took me. Actually we took a photo when while we were investigating. Uh, the other dude. Referent. The picture he actually showed up there, but with us he showed up here. What I'm going to do now? I'm going to actually put the camera here, as as I did once before. Oh, now I do it again. Always the same problem. Just turn it on, Mr. Moons. It's not that hard. All right. I'm going to place the dots here. Turn about here, that's a good idea. Uh, Alright. 
Now we need to wait here. Oh, that would be so creepy if now actually somebody was be st would be standing in my truck. Like a demonic entity. Let's hope we spot them actually in the church. Because I also know that we have to go to the cemetery. To spot them there and actually probably grab some evidences as well. Uh, uh, sound evidence from him as well from that location. Oh, damn it. I need to bring my own camera. Because if he can be on two spots, I assume, I assume that the, the game also gives us, uh, how do you call it? Um, he also gives us work on two different These temperature fluctuations spots. appear to be normal. And we go back to the fact that we just saw a cold spot. Uh, we just missed it completely. Thank you. These temp readings are unusual. Where did you go? Where did you go? Where did you go? That's quicker than the last time, though. He co he keeps on walking here because he also walked Something here the last time. On here. These temperature readings are definitely paranormal. Definitely paranormal. We don't need it then anymore. There we go. Itch everywhere. Is that the generator? That's the generator. Yeah. While this is a high EMF level, it seems to be normal. Although they may want to call an electrician to ensure everything is wired correctly. Mr. Shadow. Where you at, brother? Where are you at? Please don't scare me. Please don't scare me. We had Im yeah, immediately cold spot here. Just uh, this way. All right. Can you uh, give us a sign? I think you actually need to place the camera downstairs. I think that's smarter. We will do that in a bit. He's here. These lights are acting funny. He's here. I should continue investigating. Upstairs. VMF meter should not behave this way. This is paranormal. Nice, we're done with these two. So that means he can get more active. That's, I'm happy with that. Place it here. Uh, I don't know if actually we need this one. But it can also always help us to detect where he is. Because I really enjoy this one. What we need to do now is actually grab our own camera. In case we see him and the other camera doesn't. But that we have them immediately. Ha 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 We need sound. And a camera. If we take a picture. We already took once a picture of him anyway. So we don't really need to. But I want to have it for the experience. And it, and it makes him way more active as soon as you took a picture of him. Of a ghost. close it so that we can actually maybe hear him I heard that please They're going so much better than the last time I don't know how hard he, how hard he's gonna make it for us to actually give us a sound. Because we're actually doing very great with the other stuff. You, it's just me, myself, and I. It is myself. Oh, 
gut, das ist kind of spooky. It's very hard to see him actually. Should it goes because you can't see him in, in your right or left corner because there's no light there. See if for instance now on our right we can't see anything. I'm gonna bring our weapons to it. I'm gonna turn on the lights. Show yourself. It would be cool if he now really does that. I know it's he's going to be less interactive with us if we put on the lights. It would be so cool if you actually now really, really see him. Oh, this is so creepy, the light. I'll light up the whole church. <laughs> nice. Where's the light? Oh, there it is. Wow. So spooky. And he now turns it all off by switching off the generator. Yoo-hoo. Where you at, brother? You're a shadow. Manifest yourself in the light. Really great picture, right? Too quiet. Love it. I love it. Okay. I think I think I think this is not gonna work. Might actually need to go to the to the graveyard. Oh, that is so dark. Ooh, my eyes really need to adjust to that, though. He's walking somewhere. I can hear him. Because those were not our footsteps. I heard the, the, the wood squeak. Uh, on a far, far away distance. Oh, because... Of course. I get it. It's us. Right, it was us. See? Debunked. Alright, what we're gonna do... We're going to leave it like this. No, 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 no. We're gonna leave it like this. Okay. Um... Let me grab this, drop this right about here as well. Grab. What we're going to do is something very simple. The place is downstairs. Hmm. I think I'm going to place it like. That's so hard. Why? Maybe I'm going to place it like this. And we grab the us as well. Can also be that he's now really at the cemetery. That he switches sometimes. That's that's the hard part about this ghost. And let's put him like this. Right now. Put like it didn't turn on again. Come on. Why am I always forgetting that stuff? 
All right. But uh, all right. So if he shows up, the camera will really pick it up. So what we're gonna do? Gonna have some fun. Wait, there was nothing? Well, good luck, camera. Good luck. We're going to the cemetery for a bit. Maybe we can actually find them there. Oh, ghosty ghost. As soon as we get an apparition, we need to take a picture. Maybe we can find a name. On one of the gravestones, so that we know it's his. Oh, no, he's not buried here, by the way. Alright. Come on. Where's this leading? This to Sigurdsson's house? Yep, that's to Sigurdsson's house. Would be now cool if you now see like light fl uh, flickering from in within the church. This is going definitely going to be a hard ghost to find. Okay, 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 okay. It's just a gravestone. Got freaked out a little bit there, as you can see. I thought it was a ghost. In the far, far away land. We just need to wait. Yes, yes, we need to wait. We actually really need to hop between church and the cemetery. When is he going to show himself? Oh no. It's going to take a hard, hard time. This is definitely going to take an hour. But we don't have that long. We already have some evidence. He should be more active. Maybe now he's at the church. We go. Oh, there he is! There he oh, is! Riz, take a photo of a ghost. Yes, it's supposed to be here. Yes! Extraordinary audio evidence. He's here. We found him. You're not supposed to be here. What is that? All right. I'll come out. We have some sound evidence. Ah, uh, come on. Now he really sh should show himself more. That's how the game works. Actually, it's too dark for me. We really... I wouldn't have seen him if I was just w looking at it without the night vision on. So he was mostly... Mostly, he was just here. So... We are going to stay here. Waiting for him to pop up. There he is. How rare to take a photo of a ghost. Give us another. Give us something else. That was a very unusual noise. I'll keep that as evidence. You're not supposed to be. Uh... Okay, we need the camera. We really need the camera to see him. But can he also walk on different spots? That's the question now, right? 
this is uh, the big question that we all have. Yeah. You're not supposed to be here. Well, you are not supposed to be here, John. Ooh, that's creepy. Oh, it's hard to look at a green screen the whole time. I wished actually that he would give us something else than just, You're not supposed to be here. Come on, bruh. Bruh. Like that one, that that headstone is the whole time a, a person from far away. So maybe he went to the church again. Think. Now we we saw him now two times on the same spot, so we definitely know where he is or where he can be. I also think he can be on different spots. So let's just walk slowly. Yeah, walk slowly. Just run back to the church. Maybe we can actually have some sound phenomena from there as well. Somebody turned the the lights on. It is not the reverend. The reference is gone. Did she actually take a picture? He actually took a picture. Okay, this is going to be fantastic. What is it? What a rare experience. There he is. Photo of a ghost. Ooh, okay. That's creepy. Yeah, that's definitely creepy. So he's also in the church. I'll keep that as audio evidence. Nice, thank you. So we really need to find a lot from him. Oh yeah, bro. John Uger, you're a hard man to find. When you were alive and when you were dead. Oh, that's so creepy when that happens so close to you. Weaking floor. Come on, come on, come on, come on. <laughs> he just gave us two voice phenomenon until now. We have just like 10% done from. The progression bar. That's annoying. Probably annoying you as well. <laughs> Do you think he now really went back to... I saw something shady here. Wait a minute. Who are you? Turned off the lights. He turned off the lights. Oh, stop with the squeaking wood. Okay, we now 
Or I guess we just need to wait. Because we can't ask any questions. You know, Shadow Figure does reply to questions. So we really just need to wait. Until he gives us a good noise. What we can try is actually just walk around with this thing and then do the same. Don't get scared when he says something in this thing. Dude, can you please whisper something? Getting boring. Maybe, maybe it actually can reply to a question. I'm not sure. Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? Yeah, well, my name's Mr. Moons. I like to work for you, Conrad. Is there anyone here who would like to speak with me? So, I can't play for that long anymore. That's shitty. But we now know more about him. We know where we can find him for the next time. I'll play a bit more, but not for long. We definitely can't finish him today. It seems like he... He went back to the cemetery. Which is done actually with this thing. Just keep standing. Until something happens. Why is that, that dot sometimes turning orange? I still don't know why that or how that works. See now it's getting orange. Green. Is it me? Close by the thing. Orange. is quiet he's awfully quiet check the cemetery again the only thing we need to do is not actually just get his voice phenomenon that's good for the next time we already have a picture we know where he is we have all his evidence As I, as I said, these are in a big location, so they can be everywhere. Gonna wait here a bit. Thank you. I appreciate that, John. That? I'm glad I captured it with a recorder. Be quick. What I heard. Alright, he can give us one more and then I think we need to get back to the church and then maybe he gives us one or two sounds there and then we have to go back here again. Maybe maybe the game works like that, it's a game after all. Why are you not giving us anything man? We saw you walk there. 
Oh my god. I'll keep that as audio evidence. Sometimes this game makes me so quiet, so invested. I hope you enjoy it as well, that I'm sometimes just a little bit quiet. It's gonna give us more. Wow, that's great audio evidence. Don't you? Just loud. I love this quietness. Come on, give us more. He's definitely ro roaming here. We got it? Whisper. What was that? I'm glad I captured it with a recorder. Whisper. Giant figure. Whisper. The Italian scooter. Whisper. I think he said whisper. Ooh, I'm getting hungry as well. Yeah, very out of the blue, I know. You should hear the monster that's growling right now. Mm. We actually found a name, ladies and gentlemen. Really, son of John L. and M. L. Loeffler. Born, died... Gone, but not forgotten. Murdered by Walter Martinson. That one, maybe one of the shooters that shot his kid? But it's John Uri, right? This is... Yeah, well, it's a J-L. An M-L. Did he have a different name, maybe? Maybe, maybe the creator's actually already preparing a new ghost for this location. You're ugly. Fuck you. She's calling me ugly. That? I'm glad I captured it with a recorder. Let's just stand here. He gives us anything that we want. He's way more active in the cemetery, to be honest, than in the church. Be quick. Be quick. That's, we already had that one. That's extraordinary audio evidence. Yeah, Conrad, we know. Where is this? I'm, I'm, I'm a common Conrad. We don't care about the ghost anymore. We're just checking out headstones or just replying. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for your interaction, ghost. Uh, Conrad is really a, a cold-blooded ghost hunter. Ooh, a demon. It's a fun game of tag that we just played. Ooh, he attacked me. I'm hope. Right. Well, you're ugly. Told you so already. Wow, that's great audio evidence. Wow, that's great audio evidence. Oh. Yeah. Okay, let's go back to the church. Because he's now giving us the same sounds the whole time. I think it's really just divided into the locations. I don't know how many how many EVPs we need. Mostly it's six or seven, but we already had a, more than that, and we just barely got o over the half of the progression. He needs to be here now as well, right? Just we need to wait here. So he kept walking here, right? Gonna wait here. Just wait. The local church. Together we closed. We are closer to God. 
This shall be the plague wherewith the Lord will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. The flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet, and their eyes shall consume. Their eyes shall consume away in their holes, and their tongue shall consume away in their mouth. In the midst of the living creatures was the appearance of glowing. I heard something. Oh, it's my mind playing tricks on me. Uh, fire moved back and forth between the living creatures. It was bright, and lightning flashed out of it. Then Jesus said unto them, Yet a little while is the tight light with you. Walk while you have the light, lest darkness comes up on you, for that walketh the darkness knoweth, not whither no goeth. Are you? Are you can you give us a sign, please. Or is it maybe that he's showing himself no he's also showing himself in the cemetery or actually giving us emf and thermal here and he rests over there no also not because we already heard psst here guess we just need a whip Still don't know why that sound is always there. Scared me. That's extraordinary audio evidence. Is that a new one? I love to be quiet sometimes reading this game. It really does feel good. Just waiting. You know, the the uh, parabolic microphone actually makes it creepier to hear surroundings because I can hear myself walk like with the squeaking wood that we heard before but it, it produced like it's far far away so that's why I'm talk turning around sometimes pretty quickly just maybe standing there We were standing here before and we got that one so we're gonna keep standing here Wait. I thought I saw something here. Come on. Come on, ghost. Johnny boy. You can do it, my friend. You can do it, you can do it But we're not gonna make it We're gonna do this in the next episode We're gonna start with John Uri Johnny boy. Nothing. Nothing at all.
All right, we gotta go. Let's actually grab. Let's actually go one more time to the cemetery, and then after that, we are going in our truck and leaving the site. That's what we're gonna do. Then we, next time we are going to release John Uri. Then what we're gonna do? I don't know what we're gonna do then. After that, we still have to do the boy on this location, the other shadow figure, and and the the, the cold. Oh, Mr. Seekerston, we're gonna do that one as well next episode. Oh, that will be a very big episode. I love it. Please talk to me again. Please. I need you, John. Um, it's Kay. I can't pay your check. Is you dead? <laughs> John? John Wick? You here? There he is. Shut up. Give me I another one. These batteries. The battery's dead already. Uh, the battery's dead already. Just a couple more minutes. I can't stop. I really can't stop playing. Because it's so nice. We, we got the close there. So he drained our batteries. That's not good. So we won't get a different voice from him as soon as we get close to him. We're not going to do that anymore. Because with the, the shadow figure on Evergreen Lane, he gave us two or three mad or angry answers as soon as we got too close to him. And he just did it three times the same. So going to wait here. Wait for bloody response. Oh no, he's not a response. Bloody activity. It's really hard, ghost though. What is this? What's name is on it? Can't read it. Can't read it. I can hear my own stomach. <laughs> I'm hungry. I'm hungry. Why am I doing all these kind of weird accents though? Well, not weird, but some of you they're not weird. For me, they are. I don't know where they're coming from. I'm not mocking your accent, by the way. I'm just enjoying it. I did some uh, theater actually on on high school. Well, not just a little, a couple of years actually. Singing as well. But I can't sing. It wasn't a choir anyway. That was a bass, 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 bass. That's what, I, what you say. Low, the low ones. Peter was quite cool though. He did three or four plays. One of them was, um, what do you call that? Three Musketeers. And that was one of the head, uh, one of the main characters, D'Artagnan, his name. I, I believe I was, uh, uh, yeah, D'Artagnan. We did one of a kind of a French play, but then in Dutch or English, I'm not sure. I remember. Did we do it in English? Oh, I can't remember. But there I was, Mr. Dupin. I'll keep that as audio evidence. Wow, we got it. All right, we gotta go. I think I'm gonna end the episode here. I think we're not gonna. Uh, well, that was a new one. Maybe we can have one more new one then. A couple minutes. It's almost two and a half hours. No, that's not a new one. Wow, that's great audio evidence. That's a great audio evidence. Well, I played as Mr. Dupont. In the French one. Play it with the accent as well. I can't do the accent anymore. That's a shame. A bloody shame.
but I'm an imitator. So what I do mean by that is as soon as I am going hang out with instance people from Liverpool or, or in other words called it they, they speak scouts there. In a couple of weeks I learn their accent and I actually imitate them. But it can also be that I'm for instance someone from London, they speak posh, that I will imitate them as well eventually. Now, okay. I think uh, these are now the two the same after the other one. That's extraordinary. Oh, ordinary audio evidence. evidence. I never really understood why people are saying interesting instead of interesting. Because there is a T that we you should pronounce. Not a silent T. Or is it actually? There. Well, my, my, my girlfriend studied English and she said it is actually interesting instead of interesting. Never really understood that. Maybe it's just an accent or parts of the world where you speak like that. Or you use that word like that because we are in Holland have this as well with different kind of Dutch words. Some say different stuff. I always get annoyed when in Siri one says there's a for instance, series that the two characters are saying, one say interesting and the other one say interesting. <laughs> it's bloody annoying. Or both to say the same or not at all. I think we just need a couple more EVPs actually here. I hope he's going to give it soon to us. That we actually can might still do it today, but it, it needs to happen in the next couple minutes. But I think that's not going to work. So. Next time, we will be definitely starting in the church, finding John Ulrich, then Mrs. Siegestin, and then one of the other ghosts that we still need to do in this location. We still have the boy, the red eyed shadow, and he's chilling there. Why are you not giving a fucking sound? He's a shite. And the, 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 the creature in within the woods. That's going to be scary as well. That's going to be fantastic. Woohoo! Woohoo! It's just me, myself, and I. If I don't do ghost something, I will die. Woohoo! He's so quiet over here. Well, we have seen him two times here already. Why are you so quiet? Is it me be, me walking around too quickly? You know? Too quickly? <sighs> Little baby, don't you cry. It is just a lullaby. <laughs> Alright, we already heard the hush. Or something you can smoke. Oops, shouldn't do that. Oh, I would like to have a coffee as well. Don't forget to buy me a coffee, ladies and gentlemen. I need one now. Alright, let's just wait. Couple more minutes. He's really quiet, like me. I'll keep standing here then. I think it also has to do where you stand though. That's why I always keep walking around. I 
think he's here. I think that's what it means. That sound. That the ghost has arrived. Arrived. I actually want to finish this ghost today. That's the problem. Can't quit. But we need to. On the picture, ghost within our museum is actually standing here, so I'm gonna stand here and maybe he gives them some way more sounds than downstairs. There we go. Oh, we really, we're really so close. We might actually manage to do it today. Wouldn't that be awesome, right? Then we did three in one go. Well, and, and we probably did one of the hardest ghosts to find in in this spot anyway. Also cool. Can you give us some more? It can still take an half hour actually to get the other ones. And I said I will just play a couple more minutes. It's what I actually said 20 minutes ago. <laughs> Come on. Oh my god. Please say something to me. Okay, one more. We heard a I'll shot as well. Uh, I recorded the shot, but he did not say anything. That's creepy, man. One more. It's just one more. We're gonna go and we're gonna do this today. Fuck the long episode. Let's just do it. You know? Please give it to me then. Almost 30 minutes ago, I said, I'm just gonna play a couple minutes still. Alright, so most sounds are coming from here, from him. So I'm gonna stay really on this side. I hope he's showing himself again so that we can go to that spot. Awesome that you heard actually an old revolver gunshot. He will, he will give us eventually, so... I think we can better actually play a little bit longer now. And actually get the last one. Uh, instead of next time getting all the evidence again to make him active and then actually go over all the ones that we had already. It takes an hour anyway. Boom, we got him. We got him. Let's go. Let's go. The red leg isn't voice. gone. The I'll red leg isn't evidence. gone. Where can it be? He got shot somewhere in the graveyard. So I think the relic's going to be in the graveyard. Ladies and gentlemen, we can also release the ghost of John Inwood today. Yeah, that really make me very happy that it all happened so quickly now. <laughs> but after that, we, we are definitely done for today. I also still have to play Unholy today. It's going to take a couple hours of my playtime as well. But I can't wait for that game. Looks actually, the demo is really good. Still need to find his relic though. Alright. Let's take his... Uh, I do it as always. Maybe some of you say you don't need to. I am taking it anyway. I like to. Nothing here of him. Two street. Seekerston. D. That one. 
Есть вон. Пусть я вон. Oh yeah. Да. I'm also a little bit worn out about right about now. But we are going to do this anyway. So Shadow was the second one in the truck. And his relic was a gun. A revolver. Oh, oh, oh. Before we have to go back and actually know more about story. Let me just... Let me just... He was a grave robber. Um, Probably... No, it's also the wrong one. I need archives. Choose read. Let me see. One day Ulrich received an opportunity for his own financial gain. A physiology teacher. He had several acquaintances in the medical field. Transfer bodies from ground to medical examination. Undetected for years. Man graveyard. Digging recently filed grave. Sure enough, they stumbled upon Mr. Ulrich unearthing yet another body. Unfortunately, Ulrich's young son has secretly followed his father to be the graveyard. The two mourners snuck up Mr. Ulrich and fired upon him, only hitting his crouching boy instead. The two men were able to wrestle Mr. Ulrich away from him, dying son, and turn him in. Today is a new day for Mr. Ulrich, albeit not necessarily a good one. Released today from his incarceration. Mr. Uri still mourns of his son and wife, Kathy, who passed from poisoning years prior, knowing his life would have never been the same. Okay, so he's probably grieving still, grief or something like that about his son or his wife that got poisoned away. All right, poisoned years away, years ago. Let's go. He is going to be done soon. I'm so happy about that. Yeah. <laughs> Almost playing for three hours. <laughs> Isn't that cool? This is how addictive this I'm game is. Towards about halfway half through releasing the ghost here. Church, street, street. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Correct. We know, we know. All right. Always camera. Always EMF. Now we need this one and we're done. First we're going to check the church because maybe it's actually in the church. Always turn every light on. With the relics. We don't, we're not doing ghost hauntings. But uh uh go for around here. Remember a gun on the benches. It would be very disrespectful, but it is possible. The game after all. I think it's not gonna be here anyway. That was him, actually. It was not the referent, but it was him. But he got shot outside, so I've... I'm pretty sure it's outside, but I'm gonna check here. In case... We miss something. Or it's actually... In case it's actually here, and then we are looking outside like... Uh, like uh, morons. But it's not here. It seems, on the ground. No. I think we need to go outside. It's really great picture with the light setting like that. There we go. So now we really need the camera actually instead of the EMF. We can use EMF, but I can't. I can't see shit. Oh, this is going to be a hard find. Wait, wait. We're going to the place where he's walking the whole time. To the place where I belong, West Virginia. Oh no, this is going to be such a hard find. Oh. Where where can the gun be? Is it actually going to be in the graveyard somewhere? Getting close by the EMF should go off. Oh, 
I'm going to laugh it's, if it's actually on the piano within the, in the church, you know, because that's actually where it went off. Going to all the gravestones. Please go off. No, we cannot find it. Why, John Ulrich, where did you hit the gun? Well, you didn't hit the gun. You could have shot your son, did. Oh, that was a gun. Where, where can this relic be? Nothing. Nothing at all. If at least one beep beep beep. Then we know we're in the cl in the area. Beep beep beep. No. No beep beep beep. Please. No. Beep beep beep. Damn it. We now checked everything, right? No, this is really hard to find. Wait. There were three. There were three here as well. Three headstones. The gun may be, be here. No. I can actually check with. F. No. Okay. Is then actually really in the church? I, I think I'm gonna cut to the part where I found the relic because looking for a relic is not that nice. I actually wanna find it with you guys. We checked every, every, every head. Oh, that is actually creepy when all the lights are on in the church. I'm gonna check the church one more time. Why, why would it be in the church? That's shot in the cemetery. You don't know what the people did with the, the gun. Not here. Definitely not, no. The generator outside. I know there's a generator there. Where's the pistol? Give me the pistol. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, I think I'm gonna cut to the part where I found it because it's gonna be a hard find and. Yeah. We're playing for a long time already. We just want to have this done, right? I want this done. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I'll see you in a bit. Oh, oh, I found it. Wow. Wow, this is... How did we miss this one? See, hä? Huh? We, we walked over every gravestone. These lights are acting funny. Yeah, here it is. I it's a revolver. Damn, that's hard to find. You would have never found this with the... Oh, I'm so lucky. I'm so lucky. I was just trying to walk over all the headstones again. But it, 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 it didn't work before. And now it did. The EMF meter should not behave this way. This is paranormal. The jewel is... Grave? I don't know. Alright, so let's pick it up. We actually found it, it's pretty cool. I, I really expected this to be... It I, It took me a little bit though to find it because I went all... I did exactly the same what I did with you guys just to go over it. But I maybe maybe I missed the road because... I I got a, 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 a click somewhere here. And I was like, okay, looking there, there, there. And then I went back looked here and I was like okay sh somewhere it should be in this area and then I just stumbled onto it and I was like okay where is it then because it's it's actually the tree because at first I thought it was maybe the ghost so yeah all right now we need to find this spot 
I think it's going to be quite where we know. All right, shit. Where is it flaming up then? This is also hard to find. Mostly it's on the spot where the relic is. Especially in open locations. But we, ju may we might have just have had luck with it. That it actually worked like that. Or is it going to be in the church? I don't think so. I think it's going to be in the... Graveyard. Oh, it's flaming. Nice. Why? Uh, I, 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 it seems like I can read John, though. On top of it, John. Alright, so we're gonna place it here. Luckily, we found it this quickly. Oh, uh, why? Why? Put it here. Oh, shit. You have to follow the sound, right? These ones are hard. Somewhere here. Which ghost are you trying to communicate with? John Ulrich? I'd like to acknowledge John Ulrich's presence. Where did it go? What's the spirit's attachment? A gun. You did some awful things in your life. Most of them pertain to Please stealing. Please let be right, the last one. It's terrible your actions cost you your son's life. Okay, now we need to find the last one. Almost there. There it is. What's the uh, desire, joy, optimism, regret? I'm sure you must be full Pretty of sure. regret. Your actions resulted in your wife and son's death. Ladies and gentlemen, we did three Regardless, ghosts. It is time to leave these memories three. and be at peace. Incredible, a photo of an entity? Bye. Thank you, John, for the challenge. Appreciate it. Say hi to your son and your wife for us. Bye. Have a good one. Well, hey, Shimon, that was really, uh... Ooh, wow, I'm almost... sure this relic is on me. Yes, you thank you. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> I, two episodes ago, I made fun of Karma telling me that I actually should not forget it. I said, I'm never forgetting it. At the last episode, we almost forgot one. And uh, now, again. All right, but we did three ghosts, ladies and gentlemen. We did one here. Right? Yeah, in the mausoleum. About uh, three hours ago. So that was really good. It was a really awesome uh, experience. Then we did the, the poltergeist. That was really scary. To be honest. In my opinion. It was really scary. And we now did uh, John Ulrich on the church. So we have three more ghosts I believe to do on the church. The boy. The red eyed. The, the demon or the intelligent spirit with from the cult. That is... Child, red eyes, demon. That's it, right? I think that's it. Yeah, is it? No, a uh, 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 secrecy. So we do still need to do four. Secrecy was what we're going to start with the next episode. So, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you had a lot of fun. I did. As I said before, Bulk Street, Evergreen Lane are done. Jefferson Street. Needs to wait for the update for the, to get rid of the demon. Of this crazy-eyed floating fire orb demon. But Spruce Street is really going well. We're almost done. And then we can, if we dominate everything, everything possible, we are definitely going to Bar Harbor Lighthouse. It will be soon in maybe the next week somewhere. Because I make three episodes about this game every week. Until we're finished, of course. And then we're going to wait for the updates. But for now, ladies and gentlemen, we did... The Lady in White, we did uh, John Ulrich, and we did, uh, we finished, um, yeah, Le Fabre. Oh, and we did, of course, uh, John uh, Jacob Johnson, the challenge guy, the, the reverend in the, in the church. 
We are four down, four to go. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to thank you all for watching. I hope you had a lot of fun. Let me know in the comments what you think. Some of you are really interested in this game. Thank you for the great tips. Thank you for helping me out. Finds, but I, one of you, I still need to uh, read, read your comments because you gave the location of the boy away, and I really am happy with that. I don't lo always like to be spoiled, but uh, or to be spoiled, my game to be spoiled. But um, this was really a good tip. I'm gonna read that one, and maybe we can actually do the boy next. Uh, what to, that's so weird to say. Release the boy and finish the ghost there as well. But for now, ladies, thank you all for watching. I do like your support. Always come back for the ones that do. If you're new to the channel, you really uh, enjoyed this long episode. You enjoyed the series that we play right now. You should really leave a subscribe and like as well. Because I see in the, in the statics, uh, statistics that a lot of you are not subscribed to the channel and still watch it. So I'm happy that you watch it. But a subscribe wouldn't hurt, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, there's, another li there's a link in the description. If you want to talk to me to my Discord server, you can have some fun there. Sometimes we do, sometimes we don't. But if we grow, it will get more active um, uh, sooner or later. There's another link in the description as well that brings you to a website where you can buy me a coffee so that I always have a new game and I have a coffee for the next run so that I always have nice energy. Ladies and gentlemen, as I always say, thank you for watching. I love you all and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.